Hey, what's up, guys? This is Scott. Uh, let's make a little video for you about a uh, uh, <clears throat> just uh, my concept of a uh, grow room. Here we have uh, two hoses an intake and an exhaust for uh, geothermal. Basically, this area here, I dug a nine foot hole, ran into sand, and I uh, couldn't dig anymore, so I just made it bigger. Basically, with this hose, this four inch hose, I uh, did what? Let me see here. Four rings down at nine feet, and then uh, after that, I covered it up. I ran some stakes down there to support the hoses so they wouldn't collapse from the weight of the dirt. <coughs> Just here's the shed that I'm doing. <coughs> um, it is eight foot. What is it? Oh, it's eight by eight by twelve did the roof on it come in here all right with this uh, I got my dehumidifier AC unit with port well this is a closed system other than the geothermal which as you can see here is the intake running a uh, vortex sorry it's upside down but that's what it is then I have my exhaust. I ran another hose up top to distribute the exhaust to the geo here. And of course I got a little uh, thermometer up there to tell me humidity and uh, temperature. Here I have the LED lights, uh, 300 watts per, per light. I got two uh, circulation fans. And oh yeah, also the insulation here. Oh well, also a breaker breaker box. That's really good to have if you're going to be growing. But the insulation. This here is uh, uh, eco foil, which is uh, double bubble. One side white, the other side is uh, aluminum or you know foil. Anyways, basically what I did with this is I stapled it to the outside two by fours of the two by fours instead of to the to the back panel of the wall that way there's a pocket of air behind the stuff to insulate um, the temperature that, that's in here <clears throat> with this geothermal uh, I've done some testing I need to do some more so I have exact testing uh, with 135 feet of four inch tubing a standard uh, inline fan will not work absolutely will not work <clears throat> so if you're going to do some geothermal stuff and it's going to be a long hose then you need to get a big ass fan like this turbine thing Here, I'll, I'll fire it up for you so you can check it out It's also nice to have a dial, you know, so you can set your settings. But it takes something like that in order to push it through. Uh, with the four inch tubing that I use, uh, I use two solid pieces, one for the intake, one for the exhaust. The actual geothermal hose that's down underneath the earth has uh, little slots cut anywhere, cut, uh, sorry cut everywhere like for a drain hose or something of the sort anyways uh, that's where I'm at right now a little bit of building and do the roof and uh, I'll check you out later good luck on your grow